right, so yesterday we had the 14th. Today is the 15th. What do you think we have? Well, first, what color will it be? Looks like it's going to be red. And yesterday we had a quadrilateral, so today should be ah, a pentagon. Kind of looks like an arrow, doesn't it? So let's look at this pentagon closer up. Hmm, I can see two right angles at the bottom. This one, oh, it's a little shy, it looks like. This one is a obtuse, this one is an obtuse, and this one is an acute. So it looks like it has two right angles, two obtuse angles, and an acute angle. Okay, and it does have one, two, three, four, five sides. So it is a pentagon. Okay, so let's. Okay, so it is the 10th month. It is the 15th day. We are halfway to Halloween almost. All right, it is a pentagon. <laughs> And I'm having you watch a Sesame Street movie on pentagons, just for fun. Your little fur balls, that's cute. So we have five sides. What about those sides? Look at those sides again. Looks like these two are equal. Looks like these two are equal. These two are parallel. These are not parallel. That hmm. looks like it almost may be equal to that. Looks like they all three might be equal, and those aren't, but can't tell unless I can take it off and measure it. So we'll say it has two sets of equal sides. Equal sides. I need to spell equal, right? Sides. And it has two right angles, two obtuse angles, and one acute angle. So it does have si five sides and it has five angles. So might not be able to see that because it went off the page. You may not be able to see it because my computer doesn't want to load it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. So, unless I move this, let's see, will it move? <gasps> it moves. I forgot it does that. But then this one does not. All right. So, it is red. It has five sets of equal sides. It has fi five sides, sets of equal sides. I have to put two there, two sets of equal sides, and it has right angles and a two's angle and one acute angle. So we need to add, it has two sets, two sets of equal sides. All right. Now, uh, da, 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 our favorite part. Not gonna lie, I won't miss doing this next month. Watch, it'll be something worse. All right. Ooh. You guys, I'm not going to miss you doing this either. Make me sick. Woo! 250. 250. All right. So, we're at 250. 500. See what we get here. That wonderful sound that makes myself hurt have to go to the bathroom. All right. So we know that 250 plus 250 is 500 plus another 250 is 750. Okay. So we have three holes. Can you see three holes, three whole liters, and three fourths of another liter? <laughs> I 
There we go. All right. So, today is 10th month. It is the 15th day of the 10th month. It is 2020. And we added another 250, 3,250 milliliters is what we are carrying. 3,750. Now, oops, got to put milliliters. That is like, move this back down, three, and like having 75 cents, so 3.75, or we can write three and three quarters. We only have a quarter left. So what's going to happen tomorrow? Looks like I may make it to Saturday so I can get some pop on Saturday so I can have another bottle to use. I don't know. So today you are um, also, I want you to go to the um, website where they have the um, pattern blocks. Nope. I just had it right here. So and I want you to make some shapes with pattern blocks. Just so you're playing with shapes and looking at shapes and working with them. Because it's important that you have lots of practice with shapes and how they work. Okay? Especially when we start talking about congruent and non-congruent lines. So I'd like you to make a shape. If you want to take a picture of it, you can. I don't have anything for you to submit today. But I do want you to go on this and play with it today.